Lots of mixed emotions for parents, teachers, and especially the students today as high schoolers walked into the classroom for the first time in nearly a year. CBS 17's Bridget Chapman joins us live after finding out how it went. And Bridget, I imagine they were pretty happy to finally be going inside a classroom. Angela, very, very happy. That is what we heard today. But it did look a lot different. You know, they've been dealing with so many changes over the past year. They found out what that impact is going to be for them. Okay, so we have about Staff and students share the same reaction to being back at Enloe High School. Uh, it's very exciting to be back here. I feel excited and prepared for the who are coming. Just excited to be back. That's right. Excited as students haven't been learning in person since. March. That's crazy to think about that I haven't been back here in a year. Although some looks the same, much is different. Not only are there social distancing and mask requirements in place, but those who are back are in cohort three week rotating schedules. I think that will b bring a sense of community just in a smaller environment um, as opposed to so many students and so many teachers um, navigating this entire uh, the big building. Martha Perry, a pediatrics expert at UNC, says students are resilient. They're learning coping and strategy skills through these challenging times. But she says their social skills are being greatly impacted. They miss seeing friends and they miss having social contact, and that's such a huge part of development. She says it's important for both the school and families to set clear and consistent guidelines, saying structure is key as we keep moving forward. They really rise to our expectations when they're clear and concrete. Now, there are no big events on the books, as you'd imagine, like those big dances or any type of gatherings. But school leaders do say it's important to celebrate the milestones throughout the year. So they plan to do that still, even if they have to be virtual. Reporting live in Raleigh, Bridget Chapman, CBS 17 News.